Joining us now are some representatives of the Orient Arts Center. We have the director, Holly Nicosia, joining us on set. Yeah. And we have Stephanie McIntyre, who is the event programmer uh, for the uh, mm -hmm. Dragon on the Lake. Yep. All right. Biggest weekend in Lake Orion, <laughs> yes. I think. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> you guys go all out to celebrate my birthday that weekend. Oh, and I appreciate it. Nice. Every year for my birthday, I'm at Dragon on the Lake. Um, but it's a blast. I look forward to it uh, all year long. So what's new and exciting uh, plan for Dragon on the Lake this year? Uh, so the festival this year is Thursday, August 24th through Sunday, August 27th. And on Thursday, we're kicking it off in the Dragon Pub with a country night for the first time. So we've never featured country in the Dragon Pub before. So that's <laughs> something that we're looking forward to. We're going to have line dancing and Rob Stone, who is a DJ at YCD. Um, and then Ryan J is going to be our main act that night. So we're really looking forward to having a country act and everyone coming out and trying line dancing and wow. <laughs> their cowboy boots and hats if you have it. <laughs> All right. We're so featuring that as like started. a ladies' night too. Is that still the plan where mm -hmm. ladies get in free? So. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we're hoping for a big Thursday night and just to kick it off and get us started for the weekend. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, a big official send-off for the uh, four days of fun, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and then on Friday, I know one thing that I take uh, part in, I shoot video every year, is the uh, the lighted boat parade on Friday night. I assume that's a go, that's going to happen. They sort of tie it into the events. What's uh, recap Friday? What's happening on Friday? So on Friday, the event opens at 11. So Friday is 11 to 7, and we have a kid zone and an art fair and a marketplace and a tiki bar and as you mentioned the lighted um, boat parade at 8 30 in greens park that night mm -hmm. um, so we'll have activities all during the day and then we'll have the dragon pub open up at night and we'll also have the lighted boat parade at greens park what's going to be uh at like flint and broadway and all that downtown you're going to have vendors returning and all that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we have a really fun mix of artists this year um, and you know, small kind of merchant type like honey sellers and homemade dog biscuit companies and some really unique vendors that are going to be out there selling all weekend. That's great. We'll um, have our favorites there, the potters, and then we're <laughs> actually bringing music onto the street to, while people are enjoying shopping. You can listen to music and just um, have that fun blast of the summer atmosphere <laughs> before we're all buckled down in the fall and winter. So. That's right. Yeah. I know as I wander uh, the downtown area, usually the Art Center has a tent there with some uh, pottery uh, throwing and stuff yep. like that. So you're going to be well represented too? Yep. We're actually going to have a spot in the market um, where we'll have our live demonstrations. I'll be on the wheel for some of the weekends, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, well, that'll be our info booth where people can check in to sign up for classes, how to become a member, and then see the live demonstration. And then in the kids zone, we're gonna have our free craft in tie-dye station. So we're gonna be in two different um, spots during the festival. So we're looking forward to kind of just being in more than one area, um, you know, when we get there, it's kind of hard to, you know, do everything and when we're stuck in one tent. So I'm excited to be in both locations this year, along with everything that's going on at the lake too, so. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. Is there gonna be anything going on in the Art Center or does that close down for the weekend? The Art Center is just kind of like our, our home base. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> don't come in there if you're, <laughs> if you're looking to uh, be, walk safely. You know, it's, it's pretty crowded and we kind of use that as our swing space. We're, you know, vendors can you know leave things and um, our tickets and everything that is behind the scenes will happen at the art center. That's great. Yeah. What kind of food can we expect uh, all weekend? What do uh, we got? <laughs> <laughs> we have a Jamaican food food truck in our tiki area mm -hmm. called Reggae Foodie. Mm -hmm. um, we have nothing bunt cakes. We have some fudge. We have lemonade. We have Kona ice. And then in the Dragon Pub, we have the Your Food Dude food truck and also Jets Pizza. And then at Greens Park, we're going to have some smoothies and also Sick Pizza, which is a new um, truck in, in Oxford. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that just opened up. Yeah, yeah. they're really good. Yeah. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they, they are. I've, I've had their pizza once. Yeah, yeah. It's great. We've had it a couple of times. <laughs> they're not too far from my house. So <laughs> we've gotten it a few times. And then, of course, the big draw on Sunday are the Dragon Boat Races. I understand uh, opening ceremonies take place at 930 in Greens Park. And that is a big deal. How are we doing? How are we doing on uh, dragon boat races? Uh, what kind of? Uh, how many teams do we have? Do you know? 
We're um, doing the Saturday races again this year as well. So on Sunday we'll oh, have that's high school the high students? school will okay. be back, and we have um, about eight teams that are competing from Lake Orion and Oxford, Clarkston. So that's going to be a really fun day too. And then on okay. Sunday we have about twelve teams that are competing. Um, and you know, you mentioned the the opening ceremony. So there'll be a few heats, and we're we're you know looking forward to seeing who will be the champion this year and <laughs> get the big trophy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to remember who's the defending champ. Do you know who won last year? Was it the the BYT? It was BYT Fitness? in Oxford. Yep. All right, uh, we know, we Oxford. need to bring that dragon trophy back to Lake Orion. <laughs> we need to dethrone them. We do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> who's going to step up to the challenge? <laughs> yes. So there's what 20, 20 people per boat. Is that the idea? And talk about what the day is like. I know, are the taiko drummers returning to mm -hmm. kind of kick things off? That's always neat to see. Yeah, yeah. the taiko drummers, drummers will be there and we've um, partnered with New Day Foundation. They're gonna be our um, cancer nonprofit organization. So we always have the ceremony at lunch where we sell the flowers and yeah. it's a really moving ceremony. Mm -hmm. And so they're gonna be a part of that, which we're looking forward to this year. Um, and then, yeah, the teams will just be racing all day. We have taiko drummers to kick it off and um, hoping for good weather as always. Yeah, right. <laughs> Awards <laughs> will be in the um, Tiki mm -hmm. uh, bar this year afterwards. So um, after the races, everyone's encouraged to come back and hang out, play some um, yard games, and get together with your friends, invite people out to see the the awards, which are all handmade by the Art Center again. This oh, year man. we're making ceramic um, medals for the winners. So we're kind of just putting our spin on bringing art into that portion of the festival also. That's, That's cool. great. Yeah. Now the the whole thing sort of started, I don't know how many years ago, with chalk art. Mm -hmm. Is that gonna be returning this year? Talk about that. Yep, so chalk art is um, on Saturday this year. We're doing a one day event and um, the signups are pretty good. We have a good mm -hmm. um, round group of participants from youth, team, and adult. Um, and Stephanie can cover that a little bit more <laughs> about the prizes. We have, um, it changes a little bit every year, so. Yeah, um, it'll be on uh, Broadway between Flint and um, Shadbolt, so that'll be where it'll take place. And um, there's a thousand dollars in prizes that the different levels are competing for. Um, and she mentioned the different team names. And even within the youth groups, we break it out into like high school and middle school and elementary school. So that's fun that they're competing yeah. against kids that are their own at their own level. So do they have to register in advance and, and they get assigned a, a space to, to draw? Mm -hmm. Yep, That's they are. Awesome. Um, there's, a, I wanna say three spaces left maybe. So if anyone wants to hop on and snag up those last spots, there's a couple left still. Yeah. And we got some really great sponsors too for that area. It's always fun to, to see who comes out and supports each different area of the festival. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the chalk art blows me away every right. year, you know, all, all ages. and as you walk up and down the street and you see the beautiful mm -hmm. works of art, it's, it's really, really impressive. And like you said, hopefully there'll be good weather and those mm -hmm. won't get washed away. It's kind of <laughs> sad when they put all that effort into it and then it all gets washed away. So um, yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. That's gonna be fun. And then like you said, there's an award ceremony to kind of wrap things up mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the festival. Now you said Tiki Bar, is it? Is it the Dragon Pub or the Tiki Bar where the awards are going to be taking place? So it's at Tiki this year. Oh, it is We're at moving Tiki up there okay. just to make it um, closer to the kids zone too, okay. um, which they're going to be right next to each other and you can kind of move through both spaces. Um, so it's just more conducive for families to have their kids there and be able to do both and we're just trying to make it a bigger, um, better family event um, on all, all the days. So yeah. um, we have some really great things coming to the kids zone and um, Eugene Clark will be there doing his show and it's gonna be um, bigger and better than, mm -hmm. than last year, I think. Um, so we're excited to see that all take place, especially moving um, Tiki and kind of like incorporating it into one bigger space where you can just move about and you know, yeah. have that whole festival experience in the two lots together. Yeah, so awards are gonna be handed out for chalk art in a number of age groups, right? Uh, they usually hand out awards for lighted boat, best mm -hmm. lighted boat and all that. And then of course for the for the dragon boat races, there's team spirit and all, and then of course 
first, second, and third. So mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot going on and kind of a fun way to bring it all to a close. Yep, mm -hmm. and best costume too. We always best encourage costume. people yeah, to yeah. get their <laughs> gear together and have a good team costume going and that's one of the awards too. Yeah, that's always fun yeah. to see. And then the, the drummer mm -hmm. always seems to be the crazy one of the team. Like <laughs> they're always dressed up really yeah. elaborate. And there is a best drummer award too yeah, for yeah. the individual on the team <laughs> that has the best drummer. That's exciting. And they are that's, always the most exciting fun. person it's to a see. Specific personality type. Yeah, you can point out the drummer. <laughs> so, if there's still opportunities to get involved, or if someone just has questions, what are some sources they can go to to get their questions answered? Um, you can go to dragononthelake.com or email info at dragononthelake.com. We are still looking for volunteers, so if there's any high schoolers that need hours, or just anyone in the community kind of looking to pitch in and help, we would love we would love the assistance at the event. We have people at our info booth or helping with kids crafts, all sorts of different tasks on all the days. So that would be great. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned the country music on Thursday, but there's also music in the Dragon Pub on Friday oh, yeah. and Saturday. Who's uh, performing on those nights? We have Square Pegs and um, Sunset Boulevard is on Friday. Square Pegs is on Saturday. So they're both 80s bands. One is rock, Friday is uh, 80s rock, and then mm -hmm. Saturday is 80s pop. So yeah. Madonna and Prince and Michael Jackson and all of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I see square pegs just about every year, and they always <laughs> put on a, a good show. show. The uh -huh. tent is packed. Everyone's having fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I might pull out my members-only jacket that I have hanging up in my closet. Do it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, really get into it. So, so much to see and do that weekend. Yeah. And talk about, and we'll kind of wrap up on this, talk about how Dragon on the Lake benefits the Arts Center. So Dragon on the Lake is our biggest fundraiser for the year. It helps us bring art into community and um, be able to bring crafts to all the, you know, big rig, hopefully um, community events where we can bring art to the, the children in the area, but also it helps fund our um, instructors. Uh, you know, we're a nonprofit, so this helps us pay um, instructors for our classes and maintain our buildings. We have the two locations now, which is our downtown gallery, which we've um, partnered with um, Boy, uh, sorry, the scouts over the weekend, they've done some upgrades and renovations to help us with that. So that location's, you know, thriving. And then we have our studio on Clarkson Road where all of our classes are. So these fundraisers are, are really instrumental to helping us keep those both going and being able to offer classes and, um, you know, open the art center up to the community as much as possible. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Do you have your next exhibit planned, your, yes. uh, or are you too focused on Dragon on the Lake? <laughs> no, I always have those uh, uh, exhibitions in the back of my head. It's actually my favorite one coming up. It's Portraits and Pottery. Oh, yeah. And that uh, the opening uh, opening is September 22nd, okay. and artists have until September 8th to apply for it, and that's all on OrianArtCenter.org, how to register to become part of that show. So. And there are cash prizes, there right? There are, yep. yep. That's awesome. Yep. So if you're out there, if you do portraits or work in clay and pottery, yeah. you have a chance to win some, some yeah. cash. All mediums and you know age levels and yeah. skill level. We like to open it up to the whole community. That's what we're really focused on at the Art Center is just bringing art into our community and getting as much creative um, you know, cultural experience to everyone. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And and the Art Center has its own website, Orient Art Center. Is it dot com or dot org? Dot org. Dot org. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So OrientArtCenter.org, DragonOnTheLake.com mm -hmm. for more information <laughs> about all the exciting things that are happening uh, in two weeks, a week from this weekend. Yep. So really excited. All right. Thanks for coming down. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Did you miss anything? You. Anything you want to? No. What day do we need the birthday cake? Is that Friday or Saturday? <laughs> That's Saturday. Saturday. Uh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll make okay. sure to make okay. point of that this yeah. year. <laughs> I feel bad I didn't know in the past. <laughs> so. Most of the time, I'm usually on a on a pontoon on the lake with the lighted boat. Okay. So oh, okay. not a bad way to spend right. my birthday. Nice. So I can't yeah. All right. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah. Thanks for coming right. down.